Oh, am I interrupting something? Not exactly. Hello, Delia. Hi, I just brought you these flowers. We heard you've been through the most awful time. Thank you. Uh, why don't I just put them over here, huh? That's fine. That's great. We were very worried about you. I'm glad you're better. Thank you. Uh, how's this? Oh, that's okay. fine. Just fine. I wanted to have a nice long chat with you. Girl talk. Oh. And what'd you want to talk to Faith about? Well, I don't plan things in advance. I just talk. Whatever comes out, comes out. Pat and I were just having a nice time. He was telling me about little John's growth spurt. Oh. Frankly, my bet is that uh, he should follow through on the politician career. <laughs> According to all reports, he's, he likes campaigning and he's very big at waving to crowds, right? Yeah, you got a lot more free time now. I guess the strike was a success. Well, this is my coffee break. Oh. The flowers really are lovely. And thank you for stopping by. Well, uh, I don't mind at all. See, I had some free time. I just have to check on my investments. Oh, I'm diversifying. It's great, because I just, uh, wait, and it's just wonderful, because I just get richer and richer. Oh, I bet it is. Oh, but you've always been rich. I guess Patty would understand what I mean. What do you mean? I... Dr. Ryan, they're looking for you. Mr. Cardona's having another episode. Okay, thanks. Uh, sorry, I gotta go. Bye. You're a lot better than I expected. Well, they thought I might have pneumonia, but I guess the antibiotics did their trick. Roger uh, told me just a little bit about what happened. You must have been scared to death. Well, yeah, I was. You were, you were locked in a, a cellar and it was cold and dark? Dear, I'm really trying to forget about this. No, I, I know that. I know that. It must have been horrible for you. Could I ask you one question? All right. Do you think that all these things that happened to you before you left for the country, do you think Tom was responsible for that? I suppose so. You set your bed on fire? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. And he, he loosened the, the banister so you'd fall? Yeah, I think so. See, here you are living in a house with a man. You're all lovey-dovey, and he's trying to kill you. Dear, what are you trying to do? See, I'm just trying to get this straight. I mean, do you think these things were coincidences or what? No, I think they were deliberate. Oh, my. How could you ever go back and live in that house? I'd be scared of Tom just jumping out of, behind a curtain or, or, or hiding on the staircase. Well, I... Just can't let my imagination run away with me. You're a thousand times braver than I could ever possibly be. No. Yeah, I would just imagine hearing footsteps in the night. Well, I... will just have to remember that he's locked up somewhere. But he's not. Well, he, he's, he's in a room somewhere. He's just got a nurse watching him, that's all. Yeah, but they are watching him. Well, you know, kind of. Roger says that he's really very sick, though. See, it's not here that I would worry about it. There are a lot of people around. Uh, it's just back in that big, empty house. Yeah, but you and Roger will be downstairs. Oh, sure. If anything happens, you can just scream. You see, I understand you're being jittery about going back to a big, spooky house like that. See... I don't know what would happen if Tom just jumped out. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I scare you? No. No, it wasn't you. It's... I don't know. All of a sudden, the thought of going back to that house. Uh, look, I think what you really need right now is just some rest. I don't think you should think about Tom, Faith, or the house. Just try to get everything off your mind, okay? 